What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with another quick video today. Checking out the Deer RC, this little brushless four wheel drive monster truck. Okay, uh, this is a 1 18th scale, so it's small, sort of. Um, this is something I have a couple small little um, trucks kind of like this. One of them um, was a truck my uncle had and uh when he passed away and it's like the only thing i kind of have left that was his so i don't even run it it's just up on the shelf so uh this is it reminds me a lot of that and so it's a really cool truck um dear rc reached out to me asked me if i'd be interested in checking this thing out and i said uh yeah anything rc i'm down to check it out so um y'all know i don't really unbox things so we throw the box away and here it is so i looked at the manual and you do have like an exploded view in there um and part numbers for everything so that's really cool not a big manual guy but there it is <clears throat> so here's the truck and when i got it i was like what wait it comes with two bodies that's pretty awesome um you guys know how bodies tear up, and so they give you two. Um, I'm a fan of the red. I've never been a big fan of yellow, but uh, the red, and I mean, they both look cool if you like yellow. Um, it has a clear over it um, right here, so if it looks kind of dull, it's because it has a clear over it. I'm going to leave that on there for now because we're probably going to take it out here and skin it up a little bit and uh so yeah first looks pretty cool little thing it's brushless like i said it's just so cool to deal with small trucks i don't know what it is about them but kind of neat so you got a brushless motor and speed controller uh, it comes with two batteries all right so um, I think this thing is 139 on Amazon. Um, and that's cool, it's on Amazon too, so you can get the two day shipping if you have Prime. Metal drive shafts, it looks like. Um, not sure about gears and stuff inside of there. My guess would probably be plastic, but maybe they went metal, um, being that it's brushless. They, you know, it doesn't look like they really skimped on it. It's got a, you probably can't see it in there, but there's a metal uh, drive shaft down the center. Um, and then, you know, your axles here are metal. So, cool looking little truck. Got aluminum uh, covered. I don't know if those are, you know, some, some of these are like plastic, just painted to look aluminum. So I don't, I don't know. I think that's just a thin aluminum. Um, has adjustment, so you have your screw collar for adjustment on the shocks. So a decent little bit of stuff packed in this truck. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it, but we're going to find out. We're going to take it out and run it a little bit. Just trying to look and see here. Has good actual wheel nuts. Uh, not some cheap like hex or... Um, Phillips head screw or something like that. Actual a good little wheel nut there. Plastic hex. And the way the hex goes on is just like a odd little piece there. I wish it had a regular hex. But I guess it's unique. So this is something like Liam was super excited about this truck and I wouldn't let him run it right away because I wanted to get some looks at it here before we uh, got it all filthy and stuff. But overall, pretty cool looking little truck, you know, for the size. Let's take it out and run it, see how it does. One other quick note, the transmitter, full size. You know, a lot of these um, smaller trucks, you get this little bitty dinky um, thing. This is full size, really lightweight. 
It has three double A's in it. So not a bad feel at all, honestly. Like it feels really good. I kind of like how this fits tight on my finger. Some, you know, triggers have a big gap there. This is kind of like, I don't know, something about it. it just feels kind of good. Um, pretty good foam wheel on here. And then you have one cool thing is you have like a, they call it a speed switch. So you can adjust the speed and that's, uh, you know, really good for kids because you can turn that down and let them kind of get used to it and then roll this up. And uh, I played with that a little bit and it does have pretty good, uh, you know, range there. So you can start off pretty slow for them and then bring it up as they get, you know, used to the truck and the speed because I did run this for a second and at full throttle, just the small scale, it's hard to keep it in line. So um, definitely cool that they give you a, a speed switch, as they call it. So um, two bodies, kid proof, hopefully. And uh, shocks work good. Let's go jump it. So you see a lot of slow motion shots I did here. And I just think that it's easier to see this small truck um, you know, it's super fast and it's small, so it's easier to see it in slow motion. You know, some of the cool things that it's doing, watching the truck react and that sort of thing. So um, I had a blast with this thing. Like, I spent more time outside with this thing right at my house here than I have any RC in a long time. You know, I may take the X-Max out and make a couple jumps or something, and then I'm done. But, like, this little thing, I just kept trying to find new things to do with it and just having a blast with it. Um, so it's see you can see right here it's really cool just to watch it in slow motion i don't know um deer rc has really stepped it up with this little thing i think um you can see here it holds a really good line even on this rough gravel a small scale truck like this if you drove it on any kind of rough surface like this it's pretty hard to hold a line and so i feel like the shocks being oil filled like they are um, really helps it out and it was ran really smooth on the gravel so uh, that's another plus for it. The only issue I did have was one shock cap um, leaking a little bit of oil, and it was just a little bit loose, needs to be tightened up, and it'll be done. And, you know, I really tried to run this thing as hard as I could, you know, and make it more like a, a maybe a kid was running it because a kid's going to grab the controller and they're going to cram the throttle and they're going to twist it and flip it and spin it and slam it. And so that's what I was trying to do with it. And, you know, even for the big kids like myself, it's a blast. You can see in slow motion here how the shocks are reacting and stuff. It's just so cool to me. But, um, you know, I really thought I would get this truck, take it out, get a couple quick shots, and hit on the hit or misses, you know, of it, and that be it. But I absolutely had a blast with it, and I spent a big part of my day just running this thing because it was so much fun. Um, you can see the several different shots. You know, I was outside running it for a pretty good while. Um, the battery lasted what seemed like forever, honestly. I ran on one battery for a long time, so um, I'm not quite sure exactly. I didn't time it, but plenty of fun on one battery, and you get two in the pack So, with the charger. So you could easily be charging one while running. This thing is also really hard to roll over, so it's great because you can just run it across the concrete wide open and cut it, and then it's fine. And here you'll see I did some durability testing. I jumped it off the roof over and over, probably 20, 25 times, and no issues with this thing whatsoever. So I've never owned a Deer RC, and so I just really wanted to know if it was going to hold up. I didn't want to tell you guys it was an awesome truck, and then it breaks on you first time out. Um, so I put it through its paces and it held up amazingly well. I got one more idea. If I can get this on the main part of the roof without having to go get my ladder. Oh, we made it. Ah, dang it. Oh. Nice. All right, we got this. It's all in the wrist. Oh, no. All right, forget the dumb stuff, right?
Let's stop there until I can get back here and see. Oh yeah. Let's turn around and we're gonna jump this a little bit. I mean, who don't drive their RCs on the roof, right? Oh! It didn't work. So apparently I just need to stay up here so I know what I'm doing. All right, here we go. Full sand. Unbelievable. Wow. So you can see this thing held up amazingly well. And that's the entire reason why I wanted to do what I did with it. I don't want you guys to think that I'm going to get this free truck from Deer RC because they sent me this for free to check out. I don't want you to think I'm going to get this free truck and I'm just going to recommend it no matter what. I'm not going to do that. So, you know, I jumped it off the roof. I tried to be as hard on it as I could and had no issues. So, yes, I would recommend it. Um, and the more I really thought about it, the price is not bad when you think about it. What we pay for an SEX 24, you know, 120 bucks or 110 maybe. You know, this is $139. It's brushless, 4x4, four four, and it's an 18th scale. So it's a little bit bigger, and it's a blast. <laughs> Just flat out a blast. So... Um, you guys let me know what you think about me kind of doing these reviews. You know, I hate to tell these companies, no, I don't want to check out a, a cool looking truck because maybe somebody out there is looking at one of these and they need some info on it and this could be a benefit for them. So I, um, to me, I enjoy doing these type videos. It's a little bit different. It's not the same old thing over and over. And so, um, yeah, y'all let me know what you think. Um, I really appreciate everybody. Peace.